Hey Cancer, hope all is well with you. You're gonna do your um, weekly read. So this is gonna be from December 13th uh, to the 20th, okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys. Uh, keep in mind these are general readings, so this may not resonate with everyone out there. Uh, be sure to check your moon and rising signs. And if you are interested in a personal reading, you can connect with me on my Instagram. All that information is there below in the description, okay? So let's see here, what we got going on? For Cancer, we're going to do the Celtic Cross. Uh, so let's see what your situation looks like. Situation for Cancer. Let's see. First card that comes out, we have the Star is your first card, okay? So your situation is about, um, you know, maybe you're just trying to dream things or dream things. You're trying to bring your dreams and everything into reality, okay? That's your situation. So you're kind of wanting things to be, um, you know, whatever you've been wanting, you want things to happen now, okay? That's kind of what it is. Let's see what your um, challenge is here. Why, what's your challenge going on here for the coming week? Six of coins, so maybe, you know, if, if you are trying to open up a business or maybe you're, you're looking for another career opportunity, whatever the case is, maybe you're just waiting for this opportunity to come through, okay? Um, if you are trying to open up a business, maybe you're needing more money to open the business. Um, so that's your challenge. Uh, take what resonates, obviously, but your challenge is something to do with some sort of finances, okay? Let's see. Could be dealing with an earth sign. It could be a Taurus as well. Um, let's see what your focus is. Your focus is Ten of Cups. So you're focusing on your happiness. You're focusing on, uh, you know, your abundance. You're, you're focusing on... Um, you know, if you're wanting a relationship or maybe you're in a relationship, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, you're just wanting pure happiness right now. You're, very, you're focused on and determined to get that, okay? Um, your recent past. Four of coins. So your recent past, there's been some sort of finance situation. Again, Capricorn energy. So your recent past here, it's, it's like you're, you're fo you know... It feels like there's there's a, another situation with finances or stability, okay? We're going to have to probably clarify a little bit of that. Possibilities for you. Possibilities for Cancer that's coming up here. We have two of swords. So th there's possibility here. I think Libra got this. Um, and this is Libra energy as well. It's just two of swords energy is like unsure which direction you need to go. Uh, so maybe you're just kind of... Um, you know, not having the confidence in moving forward in a direction or something like that. So that is um, a possibility for you that's coming up this week here. Just kind of unsure which direction you need to go. Um, let's see your near future. Near future, you do have the Knight of Cups. So in the near future here, you do have something either you're going towards someone or someone's coming towards you and wanting maybe to start something new. Um, it is a cups energy, so there's there's some sort of connection or maybe something going on in that front, okay? Um, if this is because you are kind of focused on finances, maybe there's a new offer that is coming in, all right? So maybe a new job offer, uh, something like that that's coming towards you. Let's see in your feels what's going on here. We have Six of Swords. So you're definitely think Aquarius energy too. So you're thinking about, um, you know, for some cancers, not all of you guys, but you're thinking about moving forward from a situation. So you might be maybe trying to make a decision if you should move forward from a connection um, or, you know, uh, move forward just to something different, okay? So you're definitely having this thought or energy of moving forward, okay? Um, let's see in your environment what's going on. In the environment, you have the wheel. So there's there's something definitely moving forward for you here in the future, okay? In the, ne the next coming week here, the energy shows that you're going to be making a decision and moving forward, okay? So the wheel is turning in your favor, okay? Let's see your hopes. What's in your hopes? Ooh, that came out. Eight of Wands is what flipped here. Where are you? You're here somewhere. Sagittarius energy. Here we go. So Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. So that's in your hopes. So maybe you're hoping for some sort of communication. 
Uh, maybe you're hoping to give somebody some sort of communication. Could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with, but um, you know you are definitely hoping for some sort of communication coming towards you. Okay. Um, let's see your potential outcome. You already have the Ten of Cups there as your focus, so let's see what the outcome is. Potential outcome is strength. Okay, so your potential outcome is, um, you know, working on yourself, all right? So whatever the case is, whatever the situation is, you know, if you're, if you're working on getting your stability, your finances, you're definitely moving away from a situation. Again, Six of Swords, you're moving into a different situ situation. You're hoping for some sort of communication here, or you're hoping to give some so sort of communication. Definitely feels fire energy. You do have a Sagittarius there, and we are Sagittarius season currently. Um, but you're hoping for something to move forward to where you can have a new cycle somewhere, okay? But but your your potential outcome being strength tells me that you're working on you're going to be working on yourself. So maybe you're coming out of a relationship. Maybe you're coming out of a situation. If this is a work situation, you're leaving one job, going to another job, and you're kind of working things through, building up your confidence in this new position, whatever the case is, right? If it's a relationship, you're leaving an old relationship, something that you've been wishing for. Again, the star right there, Aquarius energy. Um, but, you know, you, you're wanting to start this new communication with this person. Um, but again, you're going to be independent. You're going to be um, taking care of yourself. You're going to be focusing on yourself still, okay? But you definitely want this new connection here, okay? So that's what I see going on here. Let's see what the, um, let's get a couple more cards and see what, you know, if this is a new connection, what, what does this look like for you guys? <clears throat> this is a new connection coming or are you going towards a connection what is all this about here wow so again remember i mentioned that you'll be working on your independence okay so you'll be working on your independence okay so you're working on yourself strength leo energy and um uh, and just kind of doing your own thing you're kind of wanting to 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 kind of have your own stability, your own things going on here, okay? You are doing that. You are, you know, kind of having different options. It could be a work situation. It could be relationships too, but you just have different options. You have different things you need to juggle at the moment, okay? Um, you're definitely fighting off anyone that's coming in with negative energy, okay? But the end result, I feel as if you're moving towards somebody here. There's a lover's card, Gemini energy, and we do have the Gemini full moon coming up here too, but I feel like you're moving, you're, you're slowly moving towards someone that makes you very happy and you want to build something with this person, but you're also needing, knowing that you need to work on yourself as well. So flip the energies if you need to, maybe this is the person that's coming towards you, but it feels like that you know that you need to get out of a certain situation and you need to make a decision, right? Uh, but you know that you're not going to just jump into something else right away. It's like you just want to be able to work on yourself, but then also keep this 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 uh, connection that you really care about. You definitely want some sort of connection. You want your Ten of Cups. You're focusing. Remember, this is your focus area. You're focusing on this this uh, this connection that keeps you very happy. Okay, and it's a very you know passionate type of connection with strength there too. You know, it's it's a very like a sexy type of. Uh, vibe maybe for both of you guys too it's just like you know this person keeps you happy and all that stuff and, and you're wishing for this person this is like the energy of you wanting this to happen for you okay so that is what i see but definitely deep connection lovers there and and that goes for a lot too right so when you go you know for anything if you're waiting for someone to come in or maybe a new connection maybe you're not even waiting maybe you just meet somebody new let's just example okay you know, when, when you meet someone new and, um, you know, they tell you like, oh, I just broke up with someone last month, you know, you're not really wanting that type of connection, to be honest with you. This is my opinion, because this person just got away from a relationship. They need time to heal. They need time to kind of work on themselves and do things that they want to do, you know. So maybe they come off a relationship that's been there for a year, two years, three years, five years, ten years. So who cares, right? But you need time for a break. You know, you need time to kind of work through your own thing. You need to be able to appreciate your independence a little bit, okay? And um, 
it's really nice that if somebody does come to you or you're going towards somebody and you're just saying, you know what, I want to communicate that I do have feelings. You know, I want to be able to say this connection is really important to me, um, you know, but I, I do need to work on myself first, you know, and I don't want to lose that because at the end of the day, my focus is the Ten of Cups with you, you know, so and, and it doesn't mean like, oh, you know, just sit here and wait for me. No, it's not that. I feel like it's an energy of just kind of like you still talking, but you're having a friendly vibe, you know, kind of being upfront, being an adult about it, saying I'm not looking for anything right now, but eventually I do want something with you, you know, it's something like that. And both of you both have the understanding that it's not a commitment, it's not a relationship, it's just you guys have that connection together still um, because you both feel, whatever this is, there's someone else here that you feel a strong, deep connection with, okay, with the lover's energy there. And it feels like, again, someone that you've been wishing for or wanting for, for a while now, okay? And you've been focusing on it. Um, you know, stability, I feel like, you know, you are getting it. It's coming towards you, you know, the nine of nine of coins again you're working on yourself first and you kind of get into this energy but it feels good it feels like whatever whatever you're going through this coming week or maybe maybe it's just a decision week maybe you're just trying to think about which direction you're going towards either way it's, it's pushing you towards the right direction possibly a new connection and the ten of cups with the lovers over there okay so something very very nice for you and it is the wheel so brand new cycle the wheel's turning in your favor, regardless of what it is, all right? So looking good for you, Cancer. Let me give you an oracle um, and see what's going on here. Um, hopefully you liked that reading. If you did, well, just like the reading, share, subscribe if you have not already. Appreciate all the support. And um, let's see the Divine Animals Oracle for you. And should be good. So again, this reading is for the week of the 13th to the 20th. So you might be... Might be a decision week for you, okay? So we do have polar bear. So we have polar bear there. Um, number 26. So polar bear is ancestors, okay? So you are the carrier of the bloodline that stretches back for millennia. Yet you are uniquely your own self. Take the positive from your ancestry and observe and note the negative. Family dysfunction stops here. Honor those in your family who, are, who honor you. It is positive and natural action to individuate from our family on our own terms. Okay, so that is your card, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, and again, this is a weekly reading for you guys. And um, like I said, like, subscribe, share, appreciate the support. Until next time, we'll see you.